Kalabonga. Oh, the music, Leonardo. That looks crazy. That, Mikey, my boy. Oh, they keep correct. This team is not playing. Oh, my childhood, baby, my childhood. They did a great job. Four players. Oh, if you like Scott Pilgrim versus the world. If you weren't born in this era, in the 80s, right? If you weren't born in the 80s, but you played Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, because world, because I know that they have a, a cult following with that game, you must play this game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge, hands down the best game in the indie showcase today. And they came... A, they came up against a lot of good games. There is no doubt about it. You've seen some of them, but other games looked really good. And for this to stand out, this definitely stand it out. This is hands down. Oh my God. I can't wait to get my hands on this. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. This is going to be amazing. The four player looks amazing. It, it brings me back to the 80s. It brings me back to when I used to go and put my coins in and play this game. Oh, in the arcades. They did a great job. They have the Streets of Rage DLC coming. They have this game coming. Look, this team is freaking amazing. This is hands down. Hands down, this is going to be a classic. Hands down, this is going to be a game that everybody will be playing. You'd be crazy not to get this game. This is a 100% must buy. 100% must buy, you cannot avoid this game. Four players, I'm sure it's gonna be called co-op. I hope that they put it on online. We need four player online mode. This is where Street, Streets of Rage went wrong. They did two player online mode and I think they should have done a four player online mode. Hopefully they learn from that and make this four players online. Hopefully the DLC will do four player online as well for the Streets of Rage. But this, hands down, oh my god, they did an amazing job. Look at this, Mikey. Oh, my boy looks so good. My mind would have been blown if I saw this when I was a kid. Like everybody in the 80s would have been, our minds would have been gone. They, they finally brought back the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise should have been way bigger than it is right now, especially the games. Um, what they're doing now with the game is a good idea. I was thinking that maybe they should have updated the graphics. I'm not going to lie. I think I said it in my last review of the game. But this graphics, now that I'm looking at it even more, the fact that every turtle has a different run different move. It looks like that was a counter even by Leonardo. It, guys did an amazing job. Guys, I will definitely be playing this live with you guys on the channel. Let's play this game together. Oh my God. Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge, hands down must get. Best, best game of the show, must get, 100%. If you pass up on this, you're, you're a freaking moron. Later this year, come on, give us a date. Give us a date, give us a date. Give us a date. Give us a date. Let's go. Let's go. Get hyped. Get ready. Ninja Turtles. Let's do it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Will. That was my reaction of the Teach Bridge Ninja Turtles. Share this revenge. Don't forget to hit like the button. <laughs> hit the like button, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, guys.